Hey guys, it's Miss Boone here to do your Friday calendar with you again. Um, so yesterday you did calendar with Miss Lewis. So can you tell me what day it was yesterday with Miss Lewis? Sorry, it was Thursday. And as always, what month is it? It's May. That's right. And yesterday was 14. So if yesterday was Thursday, May 14th, then that would make, what day comes after Thursday? Friday, very good. And we know it's May and what number comes after 14? 15, awesome. So today is Friday, May 15th. And we have our pattern, it goes, pink, green, pink, green, pink, green, pink, green. And that repeats. And our last two were pink and green. So what does that make today? Yesterday was green. So today is pink. Very good. So today is Friday, May 15th. Very good. And now we're going to go through and we're going to count all the numbers and days in the month so far. So get ready to count with me, guys. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and Fifteen. Very good. Today is Friday, May 15th. So that is it for our calendar for the week. Isn't that crazy? We have two days of our weekend coming up. We have Saturday, May 16th, and Sunday, May 17th coming up. So we will see you again for calendar on Monday. But before you go, we still have to do oral language. We have been learning all about the ocean this week, and it's been so much fun. So now we're gonna go over some of the words and how they may go together. So I'll say the words and then you guys will have a few seconds to tell me how those words go together. So the first ones we have are sand and beach. Sand and beach. That's right, you find sand on the beach. The sand is the coarse, rough stuff that you find on the beach. Next, we have ocean, salt water. Ocean, salt water. Awesome. Salt water is what is in the ocean. The water in the ocean is called salt water because if you've ever tasted it, which I don't recommend, but it gets on your skin and you know, you feel it and you smell it. It's really salty. It makes you go, I make a weird face if I accidentally swallow any. Again, don't swallow salt water. It's not fun. <laughs> Up next is ocean waves. Ocean waves. Very good. Oceans, waves are in the ocean. I didn't do a very good job explaining that. But as I said in our Monday calendar in oral language, Ocean waves are my favorite noise and the waves come out of the water. They go, that was my impression. It wasn't great. Um, next is sand castle and sand. Sand castle and sand. That's right, you built a sand castle out of sand. One of the main ingredients in a sand castle is sand. So you need that on the beach to build your sand castle. Up next is swim, ocean, swim, ocean. You can swim in the ocean. It's one of the many things you can do in the ocean and it's so much fun. All right, and finally, seashell, beach, seashell, beach. You can find seashells on the beach. When I was younger, when I was your age, I would walk around the beach with my mommy and daddy and I would collect seashells. I saw boxes and boxes full of seashells from the beach. They were my favorite thing. So you can find seashells on the beach. 
All right, now we're gonna talk about what word does not belong. So I'm gonna list a few words, and I want you guys to tell me what doesn't belong. First, we have sand, waves, tree, and fish. Sand, waves, tree, and fish. Which one doesn't belong? Tree, I almost said the wrong one. Tree, very good. Tree does not belong. All right, next we have beach ball, shovel, baby doll, sand bucket. Beach ball, shovel, baby doll, sand bucket. Baby doll does not belong. You can play with a beach ball on the beach. You can use your shovel on the beach to dig sand and you can use your sand bucket to build your sand castle. So the one that doesn't belong there is a baby doll. All right, and finally, seashell, crabs, seagull, bumblebee. Seashell, crabs, seagull, bumblebee. Which one doesn't belong, guys? Bumblebee doesn't belong. You can find seashells on the beach. You can find crabs in the ocean. You can find seagulls flying around making noise. Those are all found on the beach, but you don't usually find bumblebees on the beach. All right, very good. You guys did a great job with our critical thinking and oral language today. I hope that you guys have an amazing weekend, and we will see you next week for more calendar and oral language. Bye.